Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We are going to be spending 10 minutes per day to be able to accomplish so much in the yard. So we're getting started. This is after work and I literally am only spending anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes per evening at night to just make sure that I'm on top of all of my early spring projects. So right now we're on the side of my home and we're just walking up the path. I just wanted to let you guys see how we're looking here in early spring. Nothing has started blooming yet. None of the daffodils are coming up or the tulips that we have planted here on the walkway. We're looking very gray and dreary coming out of winter into early spring. I can't wait for this area to start blooming. We have daffodils over here. We have um, some tulips and we also have catnip, which is absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful purple uh, perennial that we have flanked on the left hand side over here and I cannot wait for it to bloom. It was an alternative that I planted in, in the place of lavender because lavender can be a little finicky so I found that this one was a beautiful option and also gives that beautiful pop of purple that I was looking for. So on the right hand side um, we have huge hosta that flank the full length and then here on the left hand side we have two corabel and they're just a generic perennial that I picked up um, from Home Depot. Um, several years ago um, they crisp up during the winter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and clean up all of the old foliage and then um, in the next um, couple of weeks there'll be all new growth there is a little bit right below all of this um, old leaves but once I clean it up you'll be able to see it a lot easier now we're also going to be doing a lot of power washing um, come spring once it warms up a little. Um, we have this gate here and then also on this north side of our house um, all of the prevailing winds hit this side so there's always a lot more dirt and allergy that we have to um, scrub off. So we're going to head on to the back of the house and we're going to start uh, working on the back flower beds. So everything that I'm picking up, I'm going to be dropping off at the organic yard. I'm just putting them inside of these heavy duty bags and then we're going to dump them out at the organic yard. So everything will be recycled and, you know, turned back into amazing compost. 
Um, so let me know, have you guys started doing any type of cleanup? Um, what is the weather like in your area? I definitely have been enjoying over the past week. We had higher temperatures about in the 60s. So every night after work, I've been coming outside and just spending anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes just um, being able to tackle these projects and um, get a little head start on spring. So now that we have these two beds cleaned out, I'm just going to do a little early spring um, fertilization. So I usually use the Turf Builders for season um, lawn care. So right now I'm applying the early spring. Um, it said that you can do two dose of early spring and then you go to the spring, summer, fall and winter applications. So it's really easy to be able to do. I just use my broadcast um, Scott's um, spreader and I'm able to put the application down very quickly. Now this is the next night um, after work. So what I wanted to do was to concentrate in the front yard and to just get all of these leaves that were left um, over the winter. So what happens in my area is my driveway is like a little wind tunnel. So as the wind blows um, from down the street, it collects leaves here in the driveway. And no matter how many times I sweep them up throughout the winter, they just keep coming. So at one point I just stopped sweeping up anything and now that it's early spring, I'm just going to be able to sweep up all of the balance of the leaves that were left down over the winter. And I usually use these Lowe's bags, um, leaf bags. I have that little uh, bag opener that I use. I picked that up a couple of years ago at Home Depot. It just makes it so much easier to have the bag stand up when you're trying to you know, dump debris inside of these bags. And since it is such a beautiful day, we're just going to quickly work on the front yard. So I'm just taking down all of the solar lights and we're going to quickly um, mow the front. This time of year, I don't use like my power mower. I just use my um, manual push behind mower. And really, I just want to encourage um, growth, especially because we fertilized. So we just want to just take off the tip of the grass. So this will, you know, just let the grass um, know that it should start growing and thickening up and greening up as well. So that's what we're doing.
So this is actually a couple of days later. It's Saturday, um, the day before I released this video. And I wanted to get outside and do a little more um, maintenance, but it was raining. So I decided to take a trip to Home Goods, and I just wanted to concentrate on all the beautiful pots that Home Goods has for the season. So I hope that you guys enjoy looking at the array of pots. There are so many beautiful colors, how they have them grouped together and different types of styles, more contemporary. Um, I absolutely love this black deep uh, vessel as well as this white wash traditional vessel. And I'm always on the look for different themes of wreaths so that I can adorn the front door. I'm thinking about all of the things that I'm gonna be doing for spring in my front yard and doing my makeover. So I'm just here trying to get some inspiration. How often do you guys go to like Home Goods or Home Sense to just look around and see what type of decor is out? I try to go every one or two um, weeks because they are constantly putting out different types of um, new inventory. So I just wanted to share this quick little trip with you. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. Remember to always get outside as often as possible, even if it's only for 10 minutes per day. So until the next time, have a blessed day. I'll see you back here next Sunday.